Okay, let's just recap. T equals 400 e to the minus 0 0.05 little t plus 25. So we're going to differentiate this to find the rate of change of big T. So we get, therefore, differentiating big T with respect to small t equals. Now the differential of any exponential function of the form e to the at is always going to be a e to the at. So I'm going to have 400 multiplied by, I'll put that in brackets, minus 0 0.05 times e to the minus 0 0.05 little t. And differentiating the constant, that goes out to zero. I'll tidy up these uh, first two terms. That looks like it's going to give me a very clean answer. So it equals and 400 times minus 0 0.05 is negative 20. Then it'd be e to the minus 0 0.05 little t. Okay, so that brings us down to finding the general rate of change of big T with little t. Now we need to just substitute little t equal to 50. So when little t equals 50, substitute it into this part here, and we get that d big T, i d little t, equals negative 20 times e to the minus 0 0.05 times 50. Minus 0 0.05 times 50 is negative 2.5, so I'll put that line in as minus 20 e to the minus 2.5. And if we get on the calculator and work this out, we get an answer that is minus 1.64169, and so on. And again, the accuracy that is required in this question is to three significant figures. So we have got minus 1.64, and the units would be degrees C per minute, oops, per minute to three significant figures. However, this is not quite the answer. It said, find the rate at which the temperature of the ball is decreasing. We know it's decreasing because of the minus sign. The rate of change is negative. So the rate that it's decreasing will be the magnitude of this, clearly the 1.64 degrees C. So I'm just going to say that therefore decreasing Decreasing at mine at uh, sorry one point six four degrees C per minute per minute. I could obviously use the units min to a negative one power there um, to three SF. Okay, there we go. Now on the last part, part D, so I'll just scroll up again. In this part, we've got to show that um, the temperature T degrees C can never equal 20 degrees C. And uh, let's just start by writing the equation back out again, 400 e to the minus 0.05 t plus 25. Okay, so to understand this question, what I'm going to do is just recap on what the negative exponential graph looks like. So we'll just go over to the right here and sketch a y-axis and sketch a t-axis. And I'm going to look at the graph of y equals e to the minus kt, where k is a positive constant. When t is 0, e to the power 0 would be 1. So y would equal 1. So a ne negative exponential graph is going to start from 1. 
and it's as t increases, y decreases in this fashion, tending towards zero as t gets larger. Okay then, so we'll go back to the question now and uh, have a look uh, as what happens to this as t gets larger or t tends to infinity. So I'll just write here as t tends to infinity. We have seen on the right here that any exponential graph, k this time being the 0.05t, is going to tend to zero. So e to the minus 0.05t will tend to zero. So therefore, 400 e to the minus 0.05t, that will also tend to zero. And then t will equal essentially zero plus 25. So therefore, t will tend to a minimum value of 25. So therefore, this should explain why t can never reach 20 degrees C. Okay, that's it for question four.